we do the cubs, we're going to just have a look at the sun because it's very, very pretty indeed. Isn't that lovely? It's just disappearing over the horizon. There it is. Gorgeous stuff. Very nice, Fergus. Rain in the background that we have managed to avoid so far. Doesn't that make you feel good about the world? It certainly makes me feel good about the world that I've managed to avoid that rain. And we'll go back to the beautiful cubs. Unfortunately, they're not sitting in a position where we're going to be able to see the sun's rays catching them, unfortunately. There we are. But we're just having a very pleasant afternoon enjoying them. One or two have found the excesses of the afternoon slightly too exhausting and they've started to close their eyes and go back to sleep. Mums have also sort of shut their eyes. I predict what is going to happen here is that they will wait for pretty much until it's pitch black before possibly going off on the hunt. But because the cubs are here, you might find they even wait longer than that and don't go on the hunt at all until much later. But we'll wait and see. I think it's much easier. It's been noticeably easier for the two lionesses since the third one arrived. They're all sharing the duties now. Also, the cubs are getting a little bit tired, and so they're starting to go to sleep. Look at that. Well, Steffi, you say what you'd give to see this in person. Well, of course, you have the choice to do that in person. If you uh, sell your left kidney or something on the black market, I'm sure you could uh, get enough to come through here. I'm obviously being deeply facetious right now. Um, but, yeah, uh, Steffi, it is a bucket list thing for so many people, and many save for years and years to come out on a one-time safari to Africa. Of course, it's not the cheapest holiday you can have. But it is, I mean, it is a once-in-a-lifetime experience to come and see something like this live. But you've got the next best thing. You're watching it as it's happening, as it's unfolding right now in the Masai Mara. And, of course, the hunting going on in the Kruger National Park, all completely live, which means it's just about the same as being here. Not quite, but just about. you say it's like somebody put a smile on the cubs face I must say I agree with you I think that the cubs do look a lot more cheerful than their mothers and their aunts I, I think than all adults you know all the adult lions tend to look a little bit serious about life it's very difficult to take a cub seriously even when it's growling oh this is precious just like little kids, they want to be involved with everything. What are you drinking now? Okay, why? Why are you drinking that? Can I have some? I don't like this. I want something else that I like. What do you feel like? I don't know. Something nice. That's what's going on here. And Onko, you're absolutely right. These cubs completely adore their mother's tales. You say the world's best toy. Yes, absolutely. They do seem to be the source of the most fascination for all of these youngsters. There it is, with its little pom-pom on the end of it. I loved pom-poms as a kid as well. Now that lioness once we've looked at the cubs, I think the cubs are a bit more entertaining. I will just tell you that the lioness is, oh, she was, she's not anymore. She was giving that sort of nuzzling of the head to her cohorts, perhaps as if to say, come on, chaps, let's go and get some supper. It looks like it's going to get dark fairly soon. This is often a precursor to hunting. we might just be grateful to sit here with the cat cubs for a bit longer because of course as soon as the lionesses disappear that will be the end of our cub time very faintly in the background I can hear the sounds of baby Franklin's calling their mums 
It's a high-pitched whistle. It's so incongruous because they sound nothing like the adults do at all. Anyway, there are our cubs having a good play again. Thoroughly enjoying themselves, almost as much as we're enjoying them. I'm extremely grateful to have found these little things. It's been a very long time since I've spent this amount of time with little lion cubs. Here comes one stalking Fergus to the left. There we are. Then thought better of it. Noticeable difference in size, but I promise you in a few weeks' time you won't be able to know the difference between them. Did you say, well, they eat meat as well at this stage. Yeem. The weaning process will start now at about six weeks, though, so yes, if there is meat around, they will possibly start to eat it. And at six weeks, they're old enough to be led to a kill and then led back here. But I don't think, I mean, I think, like I said, I don't think the little ones are that old yet. I think the oldest ones are probably six weeks, six to, mm, I did say eight weeks, maybe up to eight weeks old. So yes, they would certainly be eating bits and pieces of meat. And then in theory, they should be completely weaned by six months. Oh, look at that. Now, before it gets too dark, I'm going to hand you back to Brent and his honey badger cubs. Well, they look like honey badgers, don't they? <laughs> In the long grass, and hopefully they'll move around a bit as it gets a bit darker. Well, James, uh, James is spot on. They have.